Hi everybody, this is Dr. Madison Saylor. I'm a chiropractor here at Saks Wellness Center in Gaylord, and I'm here to talk to you guys today about spinal discs. If you've joined us before, you know I make weekly videos on topics about healthier living or how they relate to chiropractic, so let's dive in. We all heard of spinal discs, but what are they? So the better question is, what are they made of? In order to understand what spinal discs are, we have to take a step back and talk about what they are made of. So think of your spinal discs as a little disc. So there's gonna be two parts that we need to focus on. The outer layer, which is going to be a tough fibrous layer called the annulus fibrosus. And there is a kind of soft jelly-like inner layer called the nucleus pulposus. I always recommend to my patients to think of it like a jelly donut. We have the hard outer side of the donut and then we have the soft jelly side on the inside. So. Think of it like that and that helps picture it in your mind's eye a little bit better. So these are small discs, but they have a big job. Discs allow our spine to move, bend, tilt, so we can do all those activities in our daily lives that we need to do to go through our lives. Now, how many spinal bones are there? Well, there are 24 movable bones in the spine and in between each of those bones is a spinal disc. So that gives us 23 discs that are make up our spine. Now, each disc, again, acts as a small swivel to allow us to move and tilt, again, to do those activities in our daily lives. Again, the inner, inner layer of that disc is a jelly-like substance made of a lot of water. Now, the high water content makes the disc soluble and supple so it can move and give us that range of motion that we need. Unfortunately, as we age, discs naturally degenerate, so they lose some of that water content. Now, degenerative discs, unfortunately, don't move as well on their own. And we all know that if we're not moving, we have a propensity to incur more pain. So because our discs are degenerating a little bit and they're not as movable, we have a propensity to have more pain as we get older. Now, the good news is, is I know somebody who can help with movement, us chiropractors. Movement is the best way to keep our spinal discs healthy. Since spinal discs don't particularly have a good blood supply. Blood supply is how our tissues of our body get nutrients. We have to move. Movement is how those discs get the nutrients they need. The blood diffuses into those discs through movement. So as you can tell, without movement, we're not gonna get good blood supply. We're not gonna get the nutrients. So discs will break down and degenerate, like we said. So if you are finding yourself having neck or back pain, it could be because your spine and discs aren't moving the way they're supposed to, and maybe you would really benefit from a chiropractic adjustment. If you're one of those people that find yourself having pain, give us a call, we'll do an exam, and we'll see if chiropractic is right for you. I look forward to meeting you. Give us a like and a share if you liked this video, and we'll see you again next week.